Welcome back as we look ahead to the clash between Germany and Uruguay and Port Elizabeth. But what about the tournament as a whole? FIFA Secretary General Jerome Falk has expressed his satisfaction with South Africa's hosting of the event and he believes the tournament has left a major legacy for the country. The champions of the world will be crowned here at Soccer City come the 11th of July. But before we can get to that grand finale, 63 other matches have to take place across the country. And here are some of the reasons why you should visit the other host cities in the beautiful South Africa. Cote d'Ivoire have wrapped up their preparations for their vital Group G clash against Brazil at Soccer City. It's still not clear if Didier Drogba will start for the big match, but it is a very relaxed camp who know how important this match is. But what about Germany? It was another case of so closer but no cigar for the second consecutive major tournament. The Germans were sent packing by Spain, but despite licking their wounds, Germany's youthful side surprised friend and foe. The World Cup final day here in South Africa. The 2010 FIFA World Cup comes to an end. Spain against Netherlands and an interesting stat for our viewers in New Zealand. If Spain go on and win today, New Zealand will be the only team that hasn't lost a match at the 2010 FIFA World Cup. So well done to the All Whites. Good performance. But it's time to talk rugby here. And I've got Warren Brosnan and Onan Kamani with me in studio. Let's talk about the dark day in Auckland. I mean, it's been dark for 73 years, but it was all black yesterday, Warren. Well, as you can imagine, the newspapers dominated with World Cup stories and the third, fourth place playoff also comes through. But the big focus this morning is on the final. The stage is set, the citizen has on his back page. And of course, 90 minutes from glory as a new name will appear on that World Cup trophy. It's the first World Cup meeting between these two proud footballing nations. Yes, Holland might be playing its third World Cup final, but the Spaniards are favoured by many to lift their first World Cup crown. The Red Fury won the Euro 2008, then went unbeaten through the World Cup qualifiers. And despite losing their opening game against Switzerland, Spain remained on course for a date with destiny. Yeah, well, good luck to the Springboks, of course, up against the All Blacks in Eden Park, looking to end that 73-year hoodoo. That's it from us this morning. Catch us again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Well, there is a real sense of belief with the American fans now that they can go on and win this World Cup. As you can see, the party is going absolutely crazy here as America celebrates its passage into the next round. Yes, to proceed. And a crazy loftus for Super Sport. USA! USA! USA!